today, information on new boathouse renovations and a look at the new UNF Spark Attack sculpture. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Tendon Locke, and thanks for tuning in to Spinnaker News this Wednesday morning. Here are today's top stories. Student Government President Joseph Turner appeared before the April 6th Budget and Allocations Committee to initiate a special funding request for a proposed boathouse renovation in the amount of around $26,000. The amount requested, which includes a 10% contingency fund, reflects the cost of Phase 1 of two phases, which in total may exceed $171,000. Phase 1 will include tile flooring and a menu change from chart wells, as well as artistic changes to include a textured brick wall rack, a window liner to limit sunlight, and a wooden wall wrap installation. The motion passed 5-0-0 and will move on to the Senate floor agenda next Monday. First there were Sergeant Crackers, then it was Colonel Crackers, and now sculpture students at UNF have created Spark Attack, which is currently on display in Hemming Park 4-1 Spark. Here is Jenny Hager, Associate Professor of Sculpture, with more. Well, this project has been different for us because this project is menacing and the last couple projects have been really silly and fun. But it's also been different for us because we got a new building and we've been able to work on this indoors, which has been really helpful with getting it done prior to schedule, which is a first, um, like right instead of working right up to the deadline. So that's been awesome working in the new space. And I have to say this group has been really good working together too. They've been excellent collaborators and things have they've, they've had great momentum through the project for more on this story you can check out unfspinnaker.com now for your spinnaker weather update here's diane Colley. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Diane Colley here with your Spinnaker weather update. It looks like today is going to be a pleasant one. As you can see, the sun is already starting to shine bright, though some clouds still remain. There will be some isolated showers and thunderstorms after 3 p.m., but until then, enjoy this sunny weather, which will be bringing in a high of 86. Tonight, we'll be seeing partly cloudy skies with a low around 66. As for the surf, Surfline reports that there will be fair conditions, with swells coming in at around 2 to 3 feet. This is roughly thigh to waist high. Well, that's it for your Spinnaker weather update. Now let's take a look at your three-day forecast. Thanks, Diane. Now for your sports update, here's Catherine Marsh. Thanks, Tedlin. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Catherine Marsh here with your Spinnaker Sports. The UNF baseball team is hotter than ever with a five-game winning streak, including its victory against Bethune-Cookman yesterday evening at Harmon Stadium. The Ospreys took home a 3-2 win to complete the season sweep against the Wildcats for the first time since 2010. The team's offense was on fire when redshirt sophomore Donnie Deweese scored a three-run home run in the bottom of the second inning. Sophomore Brian Baker was the most effective pitcher, not allowing a single hit and striking out three in his third victory of the season. The Ospreys displayed why they are one of the best fielding teams in the country, turning four double plays in the first five innings. North Florida started the game with the third highest fielding percentage in all of Division I baseball. The team will be back in action in a four-game road trip starting in Tallahassee to take on Florida A&M. The first pitch is set for tonight at 5 p.m. Well, that's it for today's Spinnaker Sports. Ted Lynn, back to you. Thanks, Catherine. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more on the stories reported today and other stories, you can check out unfspinnaker.com. You can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. For Diane Colley and Catherine Marsh, I'm Ted Locke. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Ospreys. <laughs>